Have you ever wanted to watch an anime about farming? What do you mean, no? It's fucking farming and subjects for this anime. Silver Spoon is the name of the anime, and farming is definitely its game. Uh, before the review starts, if you have the option to go to a tech school and said tech school teaches something you really want to learn about, go there. Why am I bringing up tech schools? Well, this is my review of the anime Silver Spoon. The story is about a kid named Hotchkin attending a special farming school called Hokkaido Ozeo Agricultural School. Therefore, I brought up the whole tech school thing. Because while well, Ozeo is kind of a tech school, you follow his life as well shit happens, and said shit is just about him and his school life. The overall story is not bad, though I feel like it's kind of slow for my liking. And that ending... Better not be a read manga ending or a uh, source material ending, because I really fucking hate those endings. Now, this is going to be kind of short, because though I may love these characters, they're kind of basic in my opinion. They grow, but it takes a while, and I don't see the change until I got to the end, and that's, well, not really good. I do put up with it, because again, I love these characters, especially Hotchkin. He's the only exception to the not growing part of the show, because he really doesn't give up with a almost everything he puts his mind into. The art style is both good and bad. It's just some characters look good in the style and some don't. And I think it's just with the highlight thing in Hodgkin's hair. Some characters have it and some don't. And I kind of think they sh- all should have it. Because it just looks better with the highlight. Voice acting is very natural, very country-like for these characters that just live in the farm and and the others, the voice acting for the others are just good as well. The animation is all right, but again, I still have that problem to highlight thing that with not every single character having having it. The openings "Kiss You" and "Life" are not bad songs, but they don't really fit the settings at all. The endings "Hello," especially and "Oto no Naru Hore," does actually fit the setting. And the funny thing is about the second ending is that the art style, though maybe same, the coloring is great for it. And every character look, just looks fantastic in the coloring for the second ending. So now taking a go, story, characters, animation, sound, Silver Spoon gets a 7 out of 10. The story really is a little slow for my liking. I do love these characters. The art style is alright, though only Hotchkin really looks good, and the other uh, characters have the hi- highlight thing in their hair. The openings are great, but they really don't fit the show at all. But the endings definitely do. At this point in time, Silver Spoon is available for legal streaming on Netflix and Crunchyroll. For ultimate recommendations, I give the Harvest Moon series primarily available on the PlayStation consoles. My per- and more specifically, my personal favorite, Instant Life, a futuristic Harvest Moon, available on the Sony PlayStation 2, Sony PlayStation Portable, and Sony PlayStation 3. Hey.